My name is Bob Lesson. I've been working with Keen Engineering on their super concentrator. We're going to go through a couple of pieces today. First the basic kit, how it comes, then we'll set it up for you and we'll run some material a little bit later. Um, you'll see the kit here, it comes with the buckets and the, the adjusting bracket. We've got a crossover tube for the material, water kit with the spray hose, we've got the sluice with the rubber mat inside. And that's how the kit comes. Next step will be showing you the setup. Okay, the next step is we're going to put together the crossover tube. It's real simple. Just a little bit of water on the end and sort of twist it right into the fitting. Take the second bucket, a little bit of water, and twist it right into the fitting. Bring your Rack it up, you're going to end up with about three quarters of an inch per foot, so two, two and a half inches to start over here is about right. Set your sluice up. And your water kit. That's your basic setup. Next step, we'll get it ready to run some material. Okay, a few items I like to have with me when I'm working in the field, either there to do cleanup or at home when I do cleanup. A scoop for loading the material. Can never do any of these operations without a snuffer bottle. Nice snuffer bottle to have out there. Your wife's extra toothbrush, just don't tell her. A chopstick, and we'll go through that later. I use that with the mat. Um, we use a, a, a wetting agent of some sort. This is King Gold Drop, works great. Also, if we're working in the desert, we'll use the clay gone to keep the clay down and back out of the recirculating system. The battery, this is way overkill for a battery. Normally what I use is, this is a 12 volt. I use a wheelchair battery, much easier to carry around. They'll last a long time. They, it will run your machine for a weekend, no problem should then have a chance to recharge it after that. Last but not least, coffee can. Use the coffee can for a tailings bucket. It keeps you from having to dig around in the tailings to get it out. That way you can run more material in one run. Okay, so we are loading up some water here. Um, you should have around 10 gallons to run this if you're out in the desert. Um, what I'm doing here is just loading it up, getting it ready to go. And uh, when you're in the desert using this, run it for your cleanup in the evening, then let the water settle overnight, get rid of the muck, in the, or pour the clean water off, get rid of the muck in the bottom and start over. A little bit about the use. 